and I are both avid bikers, campers. We wanted to make sure when we moved into a tiny house that we had enough space to do everything that we wanted to do. So we built this front storage cabinet and it's amazing because we fit whatever you want in it. We fit four bikes in it with no problem. You could fit whatever you wanted into it, but let me show it to you. So, it's a really great space if you wanted some outdoor storage. It's kind of like almost having a shed. Um, you have these hooks up here if you wanted to hang something or, you know, bikes is what we hung, but you can hang whatever. Um, these two 30 pound propane tanks come with the house. We use it for the hot water and for the stove. That's the only two things that are propane, so they last a pretty good amount of time. Um, and this one is actually brand new, which is nice. And then let me open the other side. So this side, we have our hot water heater, which is a tankless water heater. So basically you have hot water on demand, like within a few seconds you have hot water, which is amazing. Um, and that's the electrical box. We use this space for our tools, for ladder, anything that we needed. So it's it's pretty amazing. We'll walk around the outside of the house. So when we initially built this house, it was in Florida, so we didn't have to worry about when it got cold. But here, we do have to worry about getting, it getting cold. And um, so this is a heated water pipe. So whenever it gets cold below, I think 40 degrees, it just electronically turns on. It will keep the water warm and it will make sure your pipes don't freeze, which is really nice. Um, you have a outdoor spigot here, which is great if you wanted to hook up a hose to wash your cars or whatever. And then there is a outside outlet here too, as well if you needed it. You just kind of lift it up so it's protected from the elements. You don't have to worry about it. And then this is another outside storage unit that we have. Just unlock it, pull it down. This is where we kept all of our camping gear. And something that's nice is you can hook it up to a chain kind of allows you to have a little bit of a table so if you need to set things up or put things on it and uh, it's really great space. So as we're looking back you can kind of see this is the back of the house. This is where the AC unit is. It works really well. Really great window here in the front. So, as you walk inside, you, the first thing you're going to come into is the kitchen, but internal blinds so you can have privacy you don't have to worry about replacing them they're not going to get damaged um, and then this is our kitchen we wanted to make sure that we had a kitchen that was really big for being in a tiny house because we love to cook and we love to have space to do things so we have this um, enormous amount of space here and this is granite countertops and the granite countertops actually match the granite in the bathroom as well. Um, we have a full-size stove. And it is ran on propane, as I had mentioned. Um, we have a full-size microwave that's actually enormous. Um, and it vents outside, which is great because if you burn something, then it'll just go outside. And then we have all of this counter space and cabinet space, which is great.
All of the drawers are slow close. Obviously, more cabinet space underneath. So then we have this really great sink. Um, we wanted to have a really big sink because it's nice. We don't have a dishwasher, so it's nice to have somewhere to just put things or let things dry. There's also a grate that's in underneath um, to let it let things dry. The sink is extendable. It also does a spray function, which is nice. Um, all of the windows open. They all have screens. And then we have this fridge, which is awesome. It's not the same size as a normal house fridge, but it's pretty big for being in a tiny house. It opens this way and we kind of put it up on these little pedestals so that you can use storage underneath. We used to just keep our shoes underneath and then there's a freezer on top. So moving into the living room, we kind of wanted to have an area that felt like kind of like a home studio. So this area is perfect for that. There's a TV stand that comes with the house, and then we have this couch that fits perfectly in here. The couch actually pulls out to become a full-size or a queen-size bed. You just kind of pull it out. You can slide it back in if you don't have any company. And then you have storage underneath, which is really nice. And all of the windows, they come with screens, they come with um, blackout blinds that pull down. This one just literally opens this way and that way. So next is we wanted to have somewhere that we could keep our clothes that we use on a daily basis down here. And so we kind of made the last stair as a storage area and we just kind of put this curtain up so you wouldn't have to see it all the time. Um, but that is amazing because we have a hanging rack in there and you can use it as storage. Um, then, so on the other side of the house from the kitchen area, we have this area that's almost like kind of a bar. And it's great because we used it as a pantry. We just kind of hung this up to, hang, you know, cover things. But there's all of this storage space in there, and it goes all the way to the other side. And these are the kitchen table kind of chairs that we would use. So they roll, they're on wheels, and they also can be flipped to be used the other way as like a coffee table for the uh, living room there and then this is what we would call our kitchen table we didn't want it to take out space from where we're walking around so this comes out and then there's these legs that just fold down so it's kind of up to you if you wanted to leave it out all the time or either way it's just nice to have some extra space so the room feels more open. So next is the, this is our barn door that slides across. And then it's also our way into getting into the other loft because we have two lofts. So you just kind of climb up it. and be up here fine. We also have this little couch that's up here. It's nice if you're folding laundry or if you just want to sit while you're doing something up here. I used it as kind of like an office and uh, had somewhere to sit and it was, you know, a lot of space. 
We also would use back here as our hanging area. So we would use that for all of our clothes that we didn't use on a daily basis and um, just extra storage space. But you could also use it as an extra bedroom if you wanted to. This loft is actually two feet longer than the other loft. And uh, you could still fit a California King if, up here if you wanted to. Um, we use it as just kind of space and storage, but you could use it for whatever you wanted. And then the big window that we have here, we love this window for all the natural light that it brings in, but we didn't want to sacrifice our privacy. So you have these blinds that actually open from both sides. So if you wanted privacy, you could still get natural light, but if you wanted them totally open, you could pull it all the way to the top and not have to worry about it. And then going up the stairs, This would be considered kind of the master bedroom. Um, again, you could fit a California King up here if you wanted to. We had a queen size bed. It just depends on how much extra space you want on either side. Again, the windows all have pull down blackout blinds. These are great because you can open them up and if it rains, you don't have to worry about any water getting in. And these are the same windows that are on the other side of the loft. And again, they all have screens, so you don't have to worry about that. And um, LED lights all over the house. You have a fan. Mini split. And then finally we have the bathroom. I wanted a really big bathroom. We spent a lot of time in here. Um, my kind of hard stops for moving into a tiny home where I wanted a washer and dryer and I wanted a full size tub. And so we accomplished that with this bathroom. Um, to start, we have a full size um, toilet. It does the dual flush. And then as I had mentioned before, we have the same granite in the house. Um, that's in the kitchen, really beautiful granite. We chose to do a sink that is above the granite so you don't sacrifice some of your space underneath the cabinets. Again, these are all slow closed drawers. A lot of storage space in here. And then underneath the sink of, as well. We also have a tub and shower combo. It's a full size tub. Super nice. Um, we have a shower head that just comes off if you needed it. It does both. And then, of course, the beloved washer and dryer. We bought this in October of 2019. We moved out in May, so it was only used for a few months. It's brand new, basically. It has a lot of different settings, and it works really well. It's very quiet, and uh, we have loved it. And then, of course, the barn door just closes when you're ready to use it. There's a mirror that's attached to the wall, full-length mirror if you wanted it. Overall, this bathroom is huge. You've got the window here in the bathroom, which is great. We wanted a window. It has a screen. One last look at the layout. Thank you so much for looking at our house.